Hello gamers and gamers, what is going on? My name is Tanek127 and welcome back to another Skyforge video. And before we get into today's video guys, as usual, let me do my shameless plugins. If you're not, make sure you follow me at the appropriate social media at Tanek127. And if you want more Skyforge news, updates, guides, and stuff like that, make sure you are liking today's video and um, subscribing to the channel if you are new and ringing that silly little bell so I don't get boned with notifications but anyway guys let's go ahead and talk about skyforge today because um skyforge has been one up and down game on my channel that's no secret i think everybody here knows that and i've had a very love hate relationship with this game over the past few years and um i've still told people and still to this day and anyone who seriously knows me and actually seriously pays attention to my videos here on the channel you will know i love skyforge and it's one of my favorite mmos I've been off the game for probably a good 10 months now, maybe even more, and um, I've recently started covering it just a bit to, you know, to put some new content guides and stuff out there for the Switch players, and um, I am going to take some looks into the Switch version, but there all have been some things that have been brought to my attention that actually makes me think that um, my.com may be trying to do things differently this time around. Now, granted, you know, that's not going to sound fair to other platforms, but let me explain. It's nothing crazy or drastic or anything like that. Switch isn't going to get every class in the game for free or, you know, they're going to get boosted to some random generation. It, it, it's nothing like that. So c calm, calm down. Just relax yourself. Take a breather. I'm just, I'm just talking to you guys and this could be some good potential things for the future of the game. We've had complaints and everyone knows Skyforge is an MMO with massive potential, but it's no secret. I don't agree with a lot of um a lot of the practices and habits in here. That's not going to change just because they're bringing the game to another platform. That's not going to change because they're bringing to the game to one of my favorite platforms. They know that I don't I don't agree with a lot of these things. There have been, you know, um people that have accused me of slandering the devs because I don't agree with those things when you know that's that's really not the case, but there's something. There's a few things here that they're showing me that are, you know going to be different with Switch that just shows me that you know, hey, they um they do hear the the community that you know they're trying to do things a little better. Now, the first and foremost thing I got this actual confirmation from the Skyforge Switch Discord, which I'll leave a link to down in the description below if you plan on playing Skyforge from Switch. But one of the community managers actually said straight up, and I ask them right here and I'll show it on the screen just to clarify but Skyforge on Switch will have optional founders packs the game's going to launch as a free to play game day 1 it's going to launch free to play like you know how when it came on PC Xbox and PS4 you had to buy founders packs to get early access Switch players won't have to do that they'll have the option to later if you know they want extra goodies and stuff like that and they're even planning some um some like free events to give them, you know, more cool, cool stuff and everything, which I think is really a step in the in the right direction. A lot of players do view founders packs and early access, you know, to be greedy with some companies. And I'm not saying that's what I'm not saying my.com are greedy or anything because, you know, they do founders packs. But I think, you know, where where one concern of, the, of this game is monetization practices and stuff like that, I think them doing something like this on a platform as popular as Nintendo Switch because if they've launched Founders Packs on Switch to get people early access, imagine how much money they'd make. And not only did they do it the, are they doing it this way with Skyforge, but keep in mind, they did it this way with Warface too. They just shadow launched it out of nowhere, free to play day one. On Xbox One and on um, PS4, it had paid early access, paid Founders Packs. You, it took like um you had to wait two or three weeks to to get it for free to play, and um a lot of other games have done that recently too. Even Rogue Company they did the same thing. In all fairness, Rogue Company is really easy to get into though, <laughs> but you you guys get the picture. And it's just it's little signs like this, and um you know the fact that Pantheon Wars also won't be on Skyforge as well, so there won't be such a hard drive for you know for PvP and competing for. Argent, which is, you know, a paid currency that does a lot in this game, that that's a good thing to me. You know, the, the fact that they're taking some emphasis off of all that monetization. Now, in all, in, in all fairness, I don't know if, you know, they're just doing this because Nintendo doesn't allow this kind of thing because 
I know Nintendo's rules with a lot of stuff are a bit different. But if this is, you know, just something new that my.com's trying, because like I said, this will be the second game in a row that they're doing this on on a very popular platform. I think that's a really good sign. And, you know, it, it may sound silly to a lot of people, but honestly, guys, I just wanted to bring this up and let me know what y'all think. I'll leave a link down to the, to the article in the description below from Nintendo Life talking about, you know, how Pantheon Wars won't be a thing on the on the platform and stuff like that. They did talk about, you know, um, the system's limitations and everything, that being part of the reason. But I'm just saying, you know, them taking emphasis off of the off of a lot of the monetization seems like a really good good thing especially to be doing it on you know such a popular platform you know it's not like you know let's say the xbox one for example no disrespect to xbox but we know it's the the console that lost this generation if they would have did this on you know something like xbox that wasn't so popular where they felt like they wouldn't make too much sales you know okay that would probably look a bit more greedy but switch is selling faster than the ps4 did and they're not launching founders packs on here it's just optional paid stuff if you want it. You know, that that's an incredible thing, you know, in, in my eyes. You know, if, if it's being done for the right reasons. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments below. But anyway, guys, if y'all enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up button for me. And I want to thank you all so much for watching. It's your boy, Tanek127. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Till next time, peace out. Take care.